rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for another blessed day that the Lord has made. Amen. So rejoice and be glad in it. God from new beginnings being present. Amen. On this morning. Mm -hmm. Thank God for your reviews and your likes and following us on Facebook and YouTube. We thank God for you. Amen. We have another lesson this morning. Pray that the Lord will continue to bless you with his word. Mm -hmm. If the Lord moves upon you to be a blessing, to be a gift to the ministry, you can send your gift to uh, New Beginnings Community Church, Lamar, California, Givelify. I'm sure the Lord will bless your generosity and your sacrifice, your willingness. We thank God for just another opportunity to share His Word. We have another lesson this morning. This one is entitled, Jesus' Name is His Purpose. Amen. And we're coming up on uh, the season that the world calls Christmas. So I uh, believe this may be pretty fitting. This may be a timely thought because uh, so many are celebrating Christmas at this time of the season, this time of the year. And um, they're adding in the fact that it's the birth of Christ. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. But we're gonna deal with uh, we're gonna deal with Jesus today because His name is His purpose. Yes. And so uh, <clears throat> our focus verse. Is Matthew 1 and 21. Hmm. And I'll read that in King James and also the Amplified Classic Edition. Uh, Matthew 1 21 says, And she shall bring forth the Son, thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. From their sins. Amplified Classic says, She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, the Greek form of the Hebrew Joshua, which means Savior. For he will save his people from their sins, that is, prevent them from a failing and missing, prevent them from failing and missing the true end and scope of life which is in God. Be gracious and heavenly Father in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we come together this morning thanking you once again for a mind to assemble in your name. Lord, we ask that you move in this place on this morning according to thine will, that you would touch our hearts and minds, that you would speak expressly to our hearts, Lord God, that you're anointing your spirit, Lord God, <clears throat> to open up our understanding into your purpose, Lord God. Draw us near unto thee, Lord God. Give us mm -hmm. the strength to maintain till thou return. For we are looking for your appearing. Lord, we just praise you, we glorify you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, Jesus' name is his purpose. Mm -hmm. And purpose is described in this particular lesson as the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. Setting forth willful choice to resolve predestination. Jesus' name is his purpose. Uh, Jesus is the Greek form of the Hebrew name 
Joshua or Joshua, however you want to pronounce it, which means Jehovah saves or Jehovah is salvation. Our focus verse says that she shall bring forth a son. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus, Jehovah saves. Jesus, Jehovah is salvation. Jesus has become so much and so many, it's become so much and so many to so little. Mm. <laughs> but his very name is his purpose. He has no other purpose. His very name says uh, Jehovah is salvation. Jesus. Mm -hmm. When you call the name Jesus, you call the name Savior. You call the name salvation. Purpose says the reason for which something is done or created or exists. It said the setting forth, the willful choice, the resolve, the pre-destination. Uh, Jesus' manifestation, his purpose or his reason for coming or existing is to save his people from their Sin. Mm -hmm. There is no other purpose. Uh, there was no other reason for him to come. Mm -hmm. And you and I, we have to hold fast, fast to uh, the will and the purpose of God. Yes. Because he sent his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we cannot take uh, Jesus' resolve, mm -hmm. we cannot take his, his predestination or his election and pollute it because he was sent to save us from our sins. That's, that's was his only reason, his only purpose for coming. Mm -hmm. This is why his name is Jesus, because his purpose is in his name. Uh, he came uh, to to save a dying world, yes, he did. and that name, Jesus, not only is his savior, but he's the Christ, which is Messiah. So he's our he's our deliverer. Yes. He's our deliverance. His very name is his purpose. We have to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The reason he showed up, the reason he was manifested, was to save you and I yes. from the oncoming judgment, the condemnation that is coming on sin and this world. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to, we have to understand the will and the purpose of God because He so loved us yes. that it was His desire to save us. To deliver us. It's his desire mm -hmm. to pull us out of the fire or out of condemnation, out of harm's way. And so these simple truths, they cannot be, they, they should not be overlooked. They should not be neglected. These simple truths should be taught because this is, as we understand the definition of purpose, which says resolve, which says predestination or, or election, mm -hmm. he, he had no other reason for coming. No. We cannot get that confused. All right. We cannot allow uh, what we would, you know, anyway, we cannot allow his, his purpose. His purpose was to resolve this problem that we had. Yes. The right. problem that we were in. Right. 
Lord help us. We it doesn't. I don't care how long we've been walking with the Lord. I don't. I don't care how long the disciples walk with Jesus. All right. They at no time uh, did they ever uh, did he ever follow them as the leader. Amen. At no time that the disciples walked with Jesus did they try to give Jesus a, a different purpose. No. And when and and when they did, Jesus rebuked them. He called he he told Peter to get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me. Because mm -hmm. he was talking spiritually. He said, You sat with the things of man, not of God. You understand the things of man, but not of God. Because mm -hmm. Peter didn't want him to suffer what he needed to suffer. Right. And so Jesus told him, Look, you are an offense to me. I come to resolve this situation. Mm -hmm. I have to go through. I have to, I have to go through. I have to be uh, betrayed. He said, I have to be turned over to the hands of sinful men, mm -hmm. to the elders. Uh, they, they, they have to kill me. He said, in the third day, I, I'll rise again. Yes. This is his predestination. This is his resolve. This is why his name is Jesus. Yes. Because he saved, he's Savior, he's salvation. Yes. He, he has no other purpose. We have to stop giving him other purposes. Paul said that that even an angel, he said, can an angel cannot come and preach another gospel. Right. It's uh Luke, second chapter, eleventh verse. It said, For unto us is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Unto us was born this day a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, mm -hmm. Jesus, Jehovah saves. Jehovah is salvation. Jesus is your salvation. He's my salvation. Mm -hmm. And his purpose, his manifestation, his incarnation was to save us. Yes. Period. In order for us to be saved, we have to repent. We have to put on Christ. We have to be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. We have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We have to be baptized into Christ. <coughs> we have to become uh, a disciple of Christ. Mm -hmm. When when we put on Christ, mm -hmm. then our resolve becomes the same as Christ's resolve. It doesn't change. <clears throat> it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. The early disciples had uh, they had the same situation right. because the people in the church, the heretics, the heresies in the church, because of such persecution right. upon uh, the name of Jesus. Because of such persecution upon the name of Jesus, people were resorting back to uh, Judaism, uh, Gnosticism, all these false beliefs. All right. Why? Because there was no persecution mm -hmm. involved in that. I can do what I want to do. All right. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. The Roman, the Roman the Empire, the Roman Kingdom Empire. They accepted Judaism. They accepted that. There was no persecution in that. Mm -hmm. But to believe Jesus, there was, uh, I mean, persecution to, 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 to martyrdom, to death. Yes. That's how heavy the persecution was. Because they would not accept the fact that Jesus is salvation. Yes. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. You can't, you can't make him anything else. That's a waste of time. Because uh, he was manifested to take, a, yes. to take away our sins. He was manifested <clears throat> to save us. Mm -hmm. He was manifested to
to be our salvation. He was manifested to be our deliverer. Mm -hmm. He was manifested to be our cover. He was manifested to be all that we need. Yes. He came to, to, to resolve. He came to appease God. Mm -hmm. He came to pay the price. He came to ransom your soul and my soul, which is eternal. He came to be right. a savior. This is why scriptures say, uh, this is why the focus scripture said, uh, and she shall bring forth a son. And he said, and thou, you and I, mm -hmm. shall call his name Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's our savior. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he's our redeemer. Yes. He's our propitiation. Mm -hmm. His very name means his purpose. Mm -hmm. We have to get that. We have to get that. Not only do we have to get that, but we have to hold on to that. Yes, Lord. We have to hold on to that. We cannot become weary and well-doing. Mm -hmm. This is a generation that gets bored and they want to do something exciting and they want to do something different. You, you and I will never promise to, to, to do something exciting and do something different. Amen. You and I will promise eternal life. All right. And we have to endure until the Lord return. Or to the great, or to we he lay us in the grave mm -hmm. in order to receive the promise of God. And while we're living, uh, not only do we have to occupy, but we have to endure. Yes, because the Bible said that those that endure the same shall be saved. Mm -hmm. This was his purpose. You cannot, we cannot become uh, weary and well doing. We cannot. Uh, Become creative and in in <laughs> you know we can't create. <laughs> What's not true? We can't we can't we can't be so creative in our in our uh, waiting in our waiting uh, in our waiting we're supposed to be coming more like Christ. Yes. Not trying to find and figure out ways to to shine or. To, to make a name. The Bible said all that is in this world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Yes. He said that's all that's in this world. Right. Yes, it is. And we're not going to change that. We're not going to change that. We're not going to make the Lord believe different. Right. Uh, the Lord walked by the tree expecting fruit to be on the tree. There was no fruit on the tree. The Lord said, cut the tree down. Why come and hit the ground? It's not producing no fruit. The disciple said, well, Lord, let us dung around it and uh, let us work with it. And uh, if it produce fruit, well, if it don't, well, so they walked on wherever they were going, and on the way, <laughs> on the way back, they went back by that tree, and the tree was dead right where it stood. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna change. No. But the Lord just said. Yes, Lord. He said, "Cut it down. Why cover it at the ground? It's not producing fruit." He said, all that's in this world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. We're we not going to dung around this world and, and, and make him believe we're going to change it. Amen. Make it produce fruit. It's not, it's not going to do it. No, it's not. Because he's already spoken it. Yes. Uh, Jesus' name is his purpose. He came to pull you and I out of danger. Yes. Not for you and not for you and I to turn him on to something. <laughs> Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Mm -hmm. Solomon, one of the wisest men, one of the kings that had the greatest kingdom, he said, All is vanity 
and vexation of spirit. Mm -hmm. He said, over much study, he said, makes you mad. It's a weary to the flesh. We, we, we study and we study and we study and we try to become whatever we try to become. All right, now. Solomon said, it's, it's just a weary to the flesh. It's all vanity and vexation of spirit. We have to learn to just take the word as it's spoken, yes. as it's written, as it's given. Jesus' name is his purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, if we can only get that, yes, <laughs> if we can only get it, the very name Jesus is Jehovah is salvation. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord. Nothing else. Jehovah saves. Yes, he does. Oh, it helps. John, uh, first chapter, 29th verse, uh, says the next day, John see Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Mm -hmm. The Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Yeah. Still talking about purpose. Still talking about Jesus. Still talking about Jesus. Still talking about purpose. Uh, that was 129. Mm -hmm. 130. John 1 and 30 says, This is he of whom I said, After me cometh the man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, mm -hmm. 31, and I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest yes. to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing with water, 32, and John bear record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him, 33, and I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water said the same unto me, upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. 34, and I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus' name is his purpose. Yes. Jehovah is salvation. No other purpose. No. no other purpose. No, no other purpose. Jesus came to save. Mm -hmm. Period. He didn't come to make us billionaires. No, Preach and teach the gospel. It will save your soul. Period. Yeah. Whom you see the Holy Ghost landing upon, he said, it is him. It is him that. It is him. Yes. It is Jesus. Yes, it is. His name is is his purpose. Jehovah saved. He said, Behold the Lamb of God, which come to take away the sins of the world. One scripture say, What does it profit a man? Yeah. To gain the whole world. He loses. He loses soul. Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? It behooves <clears throat> us to come to allow the Lord to bring us to repentance. Yes, Lord. Uh, Moses, Moses understood that it was better to suffer. He knew it. He, he, he understood it was better to suffer persecution and, <coughs> than to enjoy all the pleasures and all the riches in Egypt for a season. He understood mm -hmm. it was better to suffer with his people mm -hmm. than to enjoy the pleasures and riches of Egypt for a season. For a season, you have to hear that. For a season. Only for a season. Mm -hmm. Reproach. He said reproach. It's better to suffer reproach with the people of God than the riches of Egypt. Acts 4 and 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The name Jesus it said, there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. 
So if if you and I are Christians and we're following, if you and I have confessed to be Christians, but we're following Christ for the bread and the loaves, we we you know, he told us not to follow him for the bread and the loaves. He said, labor for the meat that endures to eternal life. Yes. Labor for the meat that endures to eternal life. All right. Don't follow me for the bread and the loaves. <laughs> Woo! But labor for the meat that endures to eternal life. Yes. You get hungry, I can feed you. Yeah. You get thirsty, I can be water. But follow me for uh, eternal life. Yes. That's my purpose for coming. To resolve this hostility, this opposition between humanity and God. Mm -hmm. Not to teach you to become further and, and, and engulfed and enslaved and have stronger holds in this world. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we eloquently we eloquently Bible said we make people uh, two more fold or seven more fold for hell because we eloquently uh, teach them the ways of the world which binds them which which keep continues to keep them you know with the hostility between God them and God when he said look I come uh, to save yes I come to save we have to understand. Uh, if, if if we really took this to heart, if we really took this to heart, we would be excited. We would be excited to under, to to, uh, to rationalize the fact that we are going to enjoy the, this world's pleasure, but it's only for a season. The Lord is going to redeem us. Yes, Lord. We ought to be excited about that versus understanding that we're going to enjoy this world's pleasure mm -hmm. all the way until condemnation, being condemned. Yes. That, I would be sad about that. But mm -hmm. I, I, I could be happy for the fact that God sent a Savior to mm -hmm. save me. Yes, right. Lord. To save me. To save me. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, Acts 5 31. Mm -hmm. It says, Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. If God, if 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 the Lord does not bring you and I unto repentance and Forgive our sins, then we are condemned in judgment <coughs> with the world, the un with the wickedness of the world. How how does how does that sound promising? <laughs> if God does not bring us to repentance mm -hmm. and forgiveness of sin, then we are condemned in judgment with the wickedness of the world. All right, now. Uh, and we have we have an opportunity to make Jesus our Lord yeah. and Savior. We have an opportunity to make Jesus oh. Jehovah his salvation. We have the opportunity to make Jesus our salvation. Amen. Making Jesus our salvation means that we're covered. You got to hear what the Spirit is saying. Yes, Making Lord. Jesus your salvation means that you're saved from destruction. Yes, Lord. Ah, we have to hold on and endure. We cannot become weary in well-doing. We cannot get bored. We cannot get confused. We cannot... Uh, we have to maintain... The Bible said we have to work, walk worthy of our calling. We, we, will, we will call... Into a life of holiness, yes. to a life of sanctification. All holiness is, is sanctification. 
which is a set apart life from sin. Yes. Right. Don't put no more on it. I'm putting no less on it. God has called us to holiness, which is a sanctification, a sanctified life, which is a life set apart from sin. Amen. Which, by the Holy Ghost, He has empowered us to do it. Yes, Lord. So we still can't boast in We're nothing alive. but the Lord. Because without it, we would still be in our sins. Yes. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Jesus is salvation. All right. This is what you teach. This is what we preach. Because this is the return Come on, that the Lord is looking for when he comes back in order for us, for you and I, to be to be declared a good and faithful servant. Yes. Tell somebody. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't got to make nobody. No. But right. you got to tell somebody. Yeah. And so <laughs> the Lord, uh, the Lord gives us that opportunity mm -hmm. because we're his and yes. we're spirit led. Mm -hmm. And so our situations, if you notice your situation, sometimes you sit next to somebody that may ask you, do you go to church? Opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I go to church. Uh, that's all you that's boom. Boom. Simple as it. it's it's simple, it's not difficult. No. It's not difficult. It's not difficult, but you know, we come up with these gimmicks and we come up with these tricks. Nice. And, and they may bring people to your building, but they don't convert the soul. No. They may bring people to your building. Yes. But it doesn't convert the soul. Amen. When you got scripture, yeah. That's scripture because they follow Jesus for the bread and the loaf. Yes. Right. But when he stood and told them, except you eat my flesh mm -hmm. and you drink my blood, you have no life, no part. It said, all of them walked away except for the twelve. And then he said, Will you go also? And they say, where, where we, where, where, unto where do we go? You have the only words of life. Right. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Gimmicks is not going to get it. No. If they follow you for the gimmick, when they understand the fact that they have to repent from sins and be baptized in Jesus' name and be filled with the Holy Ghost, if they're not sincere, if the word, if the preached word has not oh, pricked their heart, they're going to walk away. Amen. This is scripture. All right. And he turned and asked his disciples, will you go also? And they said, unto where will we go? You have the only word of eternal life. Why? Jesus' name is purpose. Yes. Jesus is, is Jehovah's salvation. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, Acts 13, mm -hmm. verse 23, verse 38. 23 says, Of this man's seed has God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, mm -hmm. Jesus. 38, He is known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of okay. sins. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was... <laughs> Oh my God! I, hear, yeah. I, 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 I just want to speak the truth because we have to speak the truth. That's that's what uh, that's what rebukes a lie. Yes, it does. speak the truth. That's what rebukes the lie. Yes, it does. You don't stand up and say, "I rebuke you." Who is you? <laughs> the word. The word. The word of God. Uh, Paul told Timothy. Preach the word. Yes. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. No gimmicks. All right. 
Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Yes, Lord. Reprove, rebuke, exhort. With uh, all long suffering, mm -hmm. all patience. You got to be patient. Because the word has to prick the heart. The word has to change the mind. He said, in doctrine. But it has to be done in doctrine. In the truth of the doctrine. Because that's what saved. The gospel is what saved. Not philosophy. Too many of us are falling for philosophy. And we're being satisfied. And we're being, uh, uh, we're being satisfied with philosophy. Because it's, it calms the flesh. And peases the flesh. Mm -hmm. And so we're being put to sleep by the slight of man because of the philosophy. The Bible lets us know that the Greeks were famous, were known for philosophy, for their mm -hmm. philosophy. Mm -hmm. And so Paul, he, he, he teaches that we have to stick to the word. We mm -hmm. have to. Mm -hmm. We have to Amen. stick to the word because we all we all have commentary. We all we all can give our opinions on stuff. Right. So if that if that's how salvation comes, that's why the world is in trouble now because <laughs> we all that's we true. all have our opinion on stuff, that's even true. on God. That's mm -hmm. true. But Jesus came to show the way, right. the truth, and the light. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Name is purpose. Jesus' name is purpose. Yeah. Jesus came to resolve. He came. He was uh, predestinated. He was elected to come to save us from our sins. Mm -hmm. Our sins is what's going to hinder us from eternal life. Yes, it is. Right. Not the fact that I don't have a Lexus. Uh -huh. Not the fact that I don't have a condo. Amen. That's not going to hinder me from eternal life. Amen. Wake up. The fact that I haven't repented of my sins. Yes, Lord. That's it. Uh, Jesus is salvation. Got to run now, for real. Romans. <laughs> fifth chapter. 18th and 19th verse. It says, therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by <coughs> the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. 19. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Jesus' name is his purpose. Yes. Jehovah Saves Jehovah is salvation. Jesus yes. is Lord. Jesus is God of our salvation. Yes, he is. That's what He is. And it was by it was by His coming, it's by His obedience that we all can be made righteous. All right, come on, preacher. Not made rich materially. Mm -hmm. But made righteous. Uh, he said that I came that you might have life. Yes. I came that you might have life. Mm -hmm. And if you understand that his life was the light of man. Yes. He came that we have may have life, that we may Look like him. <laughs> walk like him. But we didn't took that life to mean him walking like with us. All kind of material stuff. He said, Look, I came that you might have life. Understanding the scripture say his life was the light of men. Mm -hmm. Now he said that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Abundantly. Mm -hmm. The life now and forever. Like him. Yes, Lord. He died. He was raised by the Father. Yes. Exalted, exalted to the right hand of God in power. Our life is going to mimic that. That's why he came. Mm -hmm. If we go by the grave, we 
Those that are dead in Christ don't rise first. Those that are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet them in the to meet them in the air because his life is the light of men. His life is our mm -hmm. example. It's what he is what we should mimic. Um, right. Because his life, here what the spirit is saying to the church, his life was or is the resolve for the problem we had. <laughs> the thing that kept us separated from God. Yes. Here with the Spirit. Jesus' name is his purpose. Jesus is salvation. Jesus' name means Jesus' name means Jehovah. Yes. Right. Jehovah is salvation. Jesus is salvation. Mm -hmm. Last scriptures, and I'm gonna let you go. Colossians 1 20 through 23. Verse 20. And having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Uh, 21. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now has he reconciled, 22, in the body of his flesh through death. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. 23. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Paul is not teaching you to snap it and grab it. <laughs> Paul is not teaching you to claim it and all that. He's not teaching you that. Listen to what the Spirit is teaching the church. Jehovah is salvation. Jesus is our salvation. The name Jesus is purpose. Jesus came to manifest his name on earth yes, because the name Jesus is salvation. Yes, Lord. This is what Paul is letting the Colossians know. He said, by him, he reconciled things to himself. By him, by him, he reconciled, he said, in, in the body of his flesh through death. Like it always is. We encourage you to repent of your sin mm -hmm. and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of them and allow the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Except the man is born again of the water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus' very name means Jehovah is salvation. So when you call on the name of Jesus, you're calling on the God of your salvation, the God of my salvation. Let us pray. Go bow to Dear gracious and heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, come this morning thanking you once again for your tender mercy and your kindness, Lord. We thank you for speaking to our hearts and minds, giving us the understanding of thine word, Lord God. We just ask that you would continue to be patient and long suffering with us. Make us what you have purposed us to be, Lord God, and we we'll praise you and glorify you. Take us from this place, Lord, never from your no, never from your presence, Lord God. And we just give your name the glory and honor and praise from now and until forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen. Amen.